So, uh, if you're in human form, like immediately outside that white light is a summon sign to summon the... Well, okay, so not only do you have to be in human form to summon her, um, but if you're at that bonfire, as you run to this boss, you will run into a dark spirit that um, that you have to kill. It's actually very easy to kill that you can uh, summon to help you out with this boss. And this boss is actually... I actually haven't tried it with the spirit because I've been trying to kill all the bosses without summoning people to help. But apparently uh, summoning for this boss makes it significantly easier because they just distract the boss and the boss spits lava at the, uh, the spirit that you summon instead of you. So basically my strategy without a teammate is to avoid Okay, avoid her melee attacks. Don't bother attacking her until you see that the that the spider is about to start spitting lava, start vomiting lava. Just keep running away from it. When you see it kind of like rear back, so you can kind of tell. This is just another one of those pattern recognition things. You can tell when she is about to attack because the woman that's kind of like on top of the spider. Um, her arm starts to swing back, and that means it's going to be one of those fire lance attacks, basically. But when you can see the spider, the head of the spider kind of um, move back a bit, that means that the spider is about to start vomiting lava. And as soon as you see that, kind of get to the side of it and start just chopping away at its legs. And, uh, and then from there, it's just doing that over and over again until you kill it. I mean, once you learn the patterns of like knowing what to look for for when it's about to attack, mm -hmm. then it's just a matter of doing that enough and not getting hit enough and being able to heal so that you can uh, complete this guy without dying. Now, it, it also has this weird area of effect kind of like blast attack that just damages everything around it. So if you see her start to charge up for that, fortunately she doesn't do it too often. Um, if, when you see her start to charge up for that, just get the hell out of there. Just run away. Now, is that woman riding the spider or is she like a spider centaur? Chaos Witch Quelog. Um, I she think it's like, like she's a, like half yes, spider. Yes. She is a half spider, half woman. Is there a name for that? Um... Spider Woman? Spytar? Spytar. <laughs> hmm. Oh, so that's, maybe that's the minor nudity, or the brief nudity? Can you see her boobs? Well, yeah, you can see her boobs, but her hair is strategically covering her nipples. Oh, so we don't have to, we're not going to get banned from YouTube for posting this. Mm, right, exactly. That's good. Yes, that is good. Now, usually centaurs don't get the head of the lower animal. <laughs> right, yes, this is weird. This is like if a horse... Yeah, like a, a centaur is um, upper half of a man on top of a horse's body. This yeah. is like a full spider with a woman <laughs> grafted onto it. Yeah. Like, this is some weird, uh, like... Mad scientist. Mad scientist. <laughs> what if I give a monkey six asses? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, nothing. So that was the area of effect attack, and it did a ton of damage to me. And I probably should have equipped some armor that gives me better fire resist um, instead of whatever armor I'm wearing right now. I'll put the armor that I'm wearing right now in the notes, but um, yeah. So always try to be at full health if you can, or at least two thirds or more if you're kind of in a general ball ballpark of health as I am, because that that area of effect attack it, it is fairly hard to dodge and it um and it it's very hard to like it, it just does a ton, ton of damage so the vomit you know th this boss fight kind of reminded me of the from that berserker boss fight in gears 3 the walkthrough I just made where like he would um like in the second half of oh, the boss yeah. fight 
he would uh, be leaking the emulsion all over the ground. You couldn't touch it. And you couldn't touch it. You couldn't even touch it. Like, this you can kind of touch. Like, if you get hit by it, you're fine. But it still kind of zones the... Uh, playing field? The playing field in ways that are, are to the boss's advantage and not to yours. Like, it, you know, the, the landscape of the arena that you're fighting in are constantly changing because of these this uh, lava vomit that the spider keeps producing. Yeah. Did you say what the reward is for this? Um, the reward for this is you get to ring the second bell. Oh, which is so another big, major milestone. Big uh, achievement? Yes, it is an achievement, actually. After this video... <laughs> is your fourth you, achievement? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. 40 hours in, and I've got... You get an achievement per 10 hours. At this rate, I'll be done in 2013. <laughs> so apparently you have to beat the game three times. Or at least beat the game twice and get partly through your third time through the game to get all the achievements. You have to do say that again? You have to do a new game plus. Uh-huh. Just beat, one time. Beat that new game plus, uh -huh. And then get partly into the new game plus plus. Oh, wow. To get all the achievements in this game. Says anyone got it yet? Probably. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure the guy who's who completed the game <laughs> yeah. in an hour and twenty minutes yeah, did. That's true. You know? Uh-huh. Mm. So that's insane. Yeah. This is the yeah, same of that boss. So you're gonna be doing videos for all those achievements. Oh no. <laughs>